Okay, today we're doing an install of the trailer wiring harness, uh, Atlantic British part number YWJ500170 ABB to the rear of this 2007 Range Rover Sport supercharged. Um, to start off with, we're going to have to remove the rear lamp assembly, the interior panel, and probably uh, flip down the front, uh, the, sorry, the left rear quarter seat of the back panel of the seat so we can gain access. Once we're removed, we're going to get access to all the right connectors on the inside of the panel. I'm going to run the harness through behind the bumper, up behind the tail lamp assembly and then into the vehicle and connect up where necessary. Remove the rear lamp, two Phillips screws on the inside where the tailgate seal is, top and bottom. Oh, this one's easy and loose. Normally they're a bit of a tight fit on the receivers. Sometimes you have to get a plastic trim tool behind the panel here and give it a slight bit of leverage. So I'm going to disconnect that from the main harness. If I can find out where the clip is. Right there. And I'm done. Put this in the back of the vehicle for safety. And we see the harness coming up here from the back of the vehicle. This is the old harness. We're going to be installing a new updated harness and connector for the rear tail lights for the trailer mount. And it will be installed the opposite way around to the old style. The old style connector, very similar in design. However, the new style that we carry means that we actually have to rotate the connector assembly 180 degrees. So in this kit, the connector actually still includes the four pin connector, the standardized one, and the seven way, which also includes the trailer braking connectors, pins I should say. So now we have the lamp out. The next step is to remove the rear, left rear quarter panel, interior panel. But to do that, I want to ensure I remove the bottom panel here, because as you can see, I already started a little bit, but it's fouling on the bottom panel. And to avoid damage to any of the panels, I like to remove any necessary fixings first. Now I have the two uh, luggage uh, clips removed. A little bit of a tug on the back edge of this panel will remove it from the vehicle. There are a couple of locating dowels. Looks like one of the clips has been damaged in the past. So we'll be replacing that. And one real one left on it. So we'll move that to one side and that gives us access to removing the rear quarter panel. I already started to loosen it off before and it looks like we can gain enough access into the back to do the work we need to do. So here we have the new unit semi installed. Um, the orientation for the, connect, uh, the trailer socket is like so when it's inside. It can get a bit fiddly trying to install it through the small area you have but it will go. It just takes a little time of lever up and down up and down and working into the back of the vehicle once it's in you can screw it in uh, securely okay here we have the new seven-way trailer wiring connector installed screwed in tight there's the four pin there's the seven pin as you can see all the four screws are in the silver stuff on the uh, around the screws is anti-seize compound because these do have a bit of a tendency to get tight and corrode especially being out to the elements, all the water and everything flying around. Um, definitely advise putting anti-seize compound on it. But it's in, as you can see, properly installed it into the back of the bumper. The next process is we're going to route the pigtail harness from the connector up behind the bumper, up to where the rear tail lamp assembly is. So as you can see, the pigtail harness is out of the back of the uh, rear bumper reinforcement. The harness is sort of located through the top of the bumper area. I can feel it's just gone loose there. Ignore the red cable, this is an aftermarket cable put in by the owner of the vehicle. It does go into the car and follow the same route as the trailer harness, but it's not uh, part of the trailer harness. It, so it goes over the weights for harmonic noise, over the other side 
And as you can see up underneath the tailpipe here, this is where it came out. And we're going to route it right up, pretty much following where the uh, Headlight, oh, sorry, the rear tail light comes out and uh, mounted to behind the vehicle. So as you can see, here's the pigtail harness come through behind the bumper, right beneath the lamp assembly. There's another section of wiring that attaches to it here by these two connectors. And this is all then routed through this hole into the back of the vehicle. So I've connected the two connectors, the oval, sorry, the rectangular one and the square one. The two pieces of foam tape that come in the kit actually wrap around there to stop it from rattling against the body of the vehicle, causing any annoyance of noise inside. So now I'm gonna route the rest of the cable in through the back of the car, put the grommet in its place in the hole, and then start connecting the three connectors and the ground wire. Here on the outside of the vehicle still, we have the harness that I'm going to connect up, we have the park distance control, we have the three connectors that go in through the hole and the grommet that go, plugs the hole right here at the back of the vehicle. Everything's pretty much colour coded or sized coordinated for the interior. Okay, so I've installed the grommet into the rear of the vehicle, as you can see nice and uniformly there. This is the wiring for the park distance control on the back of the vehicle. This is the connector to it from the new harness. Now the new connector for the park distance will come with a blanking plug in the end of it. You can see the little red um, rubber grommets inside there that blank off any water getting in. This does have to be removed from the, the harness that you'll be receiving. You slide the little slide, a little bit stiff slide the slide back you can press on the little latch there and pull and it will come right off of the main connector then the connector goes back in to the main harness there clicks into place you may have a little bit of residual extra harness it will soon it will wrap up and form nicely in the back behind the lamp unit that we're going to install so here's the harness from the back of the vehicle, the exterior of the vehicle, put, uh, routed through into the back left corner. As you can see, we've got all the three connectors. They're all different size and color coded and they attach to the main harness in the vehicle here. The ground is then routed and it will go on this ground unit here. It can actually attach to any of the three as long as it finds a good ground point. So I'm gonna start by And some of these connectors together. We've got a small grey one. Two. We can move all that around. Three. Just push them into the locating points there we go we have the ground left turn it around Oops. it's a nice good clean ground point millimeter nut pinched up nice and tight and firmly and that's the electricals done on the inside of the vehicle all we have left to do really is really put the left rear corner trim back into place the base trim I took out and the lamp unit in the left rear corner straightforward enough
place. And then I'll start on the rear trim. Right, so the kit is all pretty much finished and installed. Just a quick test, connecting it to a trailer with preferably trailer brakes, which is I'm sure why anybody would be wanting to purchase it because it's got the extra connector on it, which is a fabulous idea. Um, after a test, everything should be finished and done. The uh, trailer wiring kit again, the part number for the Range Rover Sport model, YWJ 500170ABP, it's Atlantic British as his own. They, um, it comes with full fitting instructions, as you can see here. Very good colourful pictures, very easy to understand and figure out how it goes together. Now you can contact our salesman at any point in time, the direct numbers are 1-800-533-2210.